halfway through a bad trip, I found myself in this stinking car park, underground, miles from Amarillo. Students in thongs stood there, eating junk food from skips, flagmen spewing ease, their breath of fetid myrrh and rat's bane, donners and condemned chicken shin rose like distemper. Then I retched on rising ground. Rabbits without ears, faces eaten away by myxomatosis, crawled towards a bleak lake to drink of leucotomy. The stink would revive a sparrow spread-eagled on a lectern. It so horrified my heart, I shat Botox. Here, by the toxic water, lay a spotted trout, its glow lighting paths for the VC, and nigh the bins, a giant rat, seediness oozing from her Flemish paws, pushed me backwards, bit by bit, into square five, where the wind gnaws and sunshine is spent. By the cash point, a bum asked for a light, hoarse from long silence, beaming. When I saw him gyrate, his teeth all wasted, natch, his eyes long dead through speed and booze, I cried out, take pity, whatever you are, man or ghost. Not man, though formerly a man, he says. I hail from Providence, Rhode Island, a Korean vet. Once I was a poet, I wrote of bean spasms, was anthologized in fuck you. You're never Berrigan, that spring where all the river of style freezes, I ask, all, all over my facials. I'm an American primitive, he says. I make up each verse as it comes by putting things where they have to go. O oh, glory of every poet, have a light. May my zippo benefit me now and all my stripping of your sonnets. You see this hairy she-rat that stalks me like a pimp. Get her off my back, for every vein and pulse throughout my frame she hath made quake. You must needs another way pursue, he says, winking while I shade my pin. If you would scape this beast, come, she lets none pass her save the VC. If she breathes on you, you're teaching nights. This way, freshman, come. If I'm not far wrong, we can find a bar and talk it over with Ed and Tom. I went where he led, across a square and down some steps, following the crowd. The SU bar, where we queued for 30 minutes to get a watery beer, was packed. Ed and Tom sat at a bonquette in the corner, chain-smoking and swapping jokes. Here we joined them till closing time, the beer doing the talking. Look, said Tom, if this guy's got funding and approval from the dean and whatever, why not take him round? Show him the works, said Ed. No holds barred. You mean, said Berrigan, give him a campus tour, like give him hell? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean, said Ed. Let's drink to it, said Tom, at which we all raised our glasses unsteadily, clinking them together above the full ashtray. Hell, pronounced Berrigan gnomically, is other people. Sartre said that. Hell is hell. I said that. Now people were leaving. We shifted outside into the cold air, where we lingered a moment, sharing a last cigarette, then parted, Ed and Tom going to their digs, leaving me and Ted to breathe the night air.